Hello, uh, this is Pyle from Runquiz Sideways and in today's Sideways Daily we continue to explore some of the uh, additional opportunities we have with Shadow Domain. Shadow Domain is amazing functionality we recently added in Sideways that allows you to diversify your um, PBN um, strategy. So if uh, in the classical PBN, let's call it classical PBN, you are um, taking uh, existing domain with existing authority, whether you buy it from auction or uh, find uh, drop domain and restore the niche site, uh, um, depending on what uh, sites you're promoting, put in relevant content and then links from this site will add to your uh, high quality authority links pointing to your site or your uh, client. We already covered a couple of uh, couple of strategies that could be used with Shadow Domain. One is to hide your link building effort. So when you have a domain and domain, uh, the uh, every it's exact copy of the original site, and you point your link to the uh, to the um, to the copy to the shadow site, uh, they will be aggregated based on the canonical tag with the original source of the content, but it cannot be discovered with any third party tools like Majestic or iTrap. I will briefly show that uh, again the same uh, definition of canonical tag from Google where at the last point they use example of different domains if you want to uh, avoid of duplicate content if uh, for some reason you syndicate content from one side to another you can use uh, canonical uh, canonical tag on the uh, on the second side that syndicated let's say newsexample.com as long as it's uh, even if it's exact copy if you put a canonical tag point into blocker.example.com Google will create it page on the original post for any incoming backlinks for any mentions so that tag was specifically designed and it's not new and it's probably been around close to 10 years probably eight years and uh, and originally it's been used primarily for hiding backlinking. So you can create a subdomain, shadow subdomain, copy subdomain, or uh, another domain and start building backlinks. But with the last few years, with the raise of uh, PBNs, with the strategy of uh, that getting more and more popular when you build your own properties, and for that reason you acquire existing, uh, existing uh, pre-existing authority uh, domains, the uh, the shadow domain or cross canonical uh, cross uh, domain canonical tag has a completely different meaning. Let's say if you acquire the domain with the link from Wikipedia and you restore the site on it, you don't need to uh, have a uh, like link to your site and then link a link up to the client site. So if you uh, set up the content, it will be exactly a copy of the client site. So you can uh, use cross canonical cross domain canonical tag to uh, essentially give the power of the incoming Wikipedia link to the client side. You can actually the same way to remove it. So you just uh, shadow the mean, you uh, change the target site, and you redirect the all power of uh, existing backlink into another domain. This is quick summary already what uh, we talked before. But uh, what we're going to cover today is the uh, yet another strategy: how to add pages to the site when you don't have access to the site. And let's uh, think about the, the very typical strategy, typical scenario. So you approach someone with your SEO services and they, after, after uh, you pitching them, you decided to give it a try and you look at the site and I don't know, what can you do with the site? And just per very poor homepage and uh, there's, let's say, about us and uh, uh, contact page. And uh, the, the guy already heard about uh, the power of SEO and he wants to rank for all local towns he, uh, he, uh, around his place he, uh, he has a business with. So of course it requires more content on the side. You, you, but how likely you will convince a client f uh, to start with at least adding a blog to the site with the more targeted content you can backlink. So and uh, I'm going to show you the same uh, how you can do this with uh, using shadow domains. Uh, if I look into this site, this is local site, local electrical site, and uh, you can see that um, regular site. It's not the site I mentioned that like, has only three pages, but still, should you should you uh, try to target it for let's say um, five six uh, small locations around uh, where he uh, provides services? The question is going to be what pages you want to rank for each location. 
So uh, look uh, at this side. You can see it's a different domain, but exact copy. If I look at the side, if I look at the um, If I look at the source of any page, you can see that all links are pointing to the uh, to the uh, to the to the page itself. To sorry, but there are two uh, two uh, uh, tags injected. One is no index, no follow. So it means for Google, so you don't want to index the site. You don't even need to follow through. So you want to Google end up on the page where they receive it. But they want. Do you want to create it for anything in, for all incoming links? you want to create a page testimonial on the uh, original site, on this side. So, and uh, it is it is a pretty uh, pretty powerful strategy for all the scenarios I described, but uh, let's look what else can you do. Again, so you, you look into the, to the site and uh, let's say I'll do blog. And all of a sudden this domain has a blog electrical blog it has uh, posts uh, images it's all targeted for different uh, uh, different uh, uh, electrical keywords a lot of posts and if I look at the uh, source you can see that they are located in the same blog they also again they are not indexed no index no follow and they ask Google to create it blog on the uh, target side. This approach uses a uh, proved uh, scenario when Google will credit source if you use it in canonical tag even if source doesn't exist. When you build it when you build a backlink pointing to the uh, to the blog that uh, points to the, uh, the that kind of claims that it is a block on the on the target site the all all link building will be aggregated as a link building done to uh, to this to this site you can search more and read more about cross domain uh, canonical tags you can see that there's a lot of discussions well it's not that uh, extremely kind of uh, widely used uh, um, scenario and there's always debates whether you use or whether you should use uh, 301 redirect or canonical sometimes it's called canonical redirect but with the uh, combination of PBN so uh, cross uh, cross the main canonical tag gives completely new meaning completely new application not only you can point uh, authority domains authority linking profile up to the client side with ease without need to index this block without uh, the, the, with this domain like this domain you don't need to index you don't need to post original content you don't need to worry about them being the index. you can even use the index domain the same as like 301 redirects everyone's still using the index high quality domains because there are a lot of backlinks pointing to this domain redirecting it to the to the uh, to the target to the to the new domain there are, there are a lot of evidence that Google does not uh, include um, the 301 redirect itself in the linking from and to so as a result so when you link let's say use 301 redirect you link from point one to point B then even the index domain works uh, the index side but the advantage of this approach is that it gives you tremendous opportunity to more target your different pages on a client site. You can backlink different pages. You can combine it with the uh, with this uh, with the strategy I just show. You can combine it with additional content, and it will also will be credited to the to the target site based on the canonical. And now I'll just briefly show the setup in uh, in Sideways is. Uh, brain uh, like it's very very simple so you go to the main you can see settings and you can see that uh, we added to actually two uh, two more options by discussing by discussing the strategy with uh, with our members um, whether you want to do uh, links no follow or and whether you want to rewrite links so I always show example when the, you the the pages are no follow it means it will end and will not follow anywhere on the site. We don't want Google crawl this site and see that it's exact copy. 
that uh, and we rewrite links so like whatever you click and stay on the same site if you do unfollow and you just change to not rewrite links that will be just very uh, valuable d d scenario like that's a viable different scenario so Google will uh, Google bot will get to the page will see that original content is on the uh, target domain and once they click any links because the site is follow it will end up on the target site and will continue crawling target site so it is a very good approach like using one or another I don't think you need to like if you do no follow if you do uh, if you uncheck no follow I think you have you must uncheck rewrite links so it means uh, you don't want to uh, make the, uh, the uh, meta tag uh, follow and uh, that will make Google crawl all of your site even if they say no index but it's follow there's no need to crawl the site that's not the purpose you don't you don't accept that you don't want Google bots to crawl the site the, you want either like end on the page they arrive or jump to the target site but subfolder is simple so you add a subfolder blog and you add another domain that will be mapped to this site. So I created, I have my PBN, old PBN, so where I have uh, 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 electrical um, content posted, just simply mapping them together. I can have them combined. So it's all in the same domain, all pointed up to the, uh, to the client side. So should you decide so that you want to uh, try to target the, the uh, target domain for carbon monoxide alarms in Mississauga, so you don't need to question what page. Like, of course, eventually you want to add it on the client side. But building links, pointing it up to the client, look, client side, and the, uh, using canonical, canonical tag is a great way to start building uh, links to the relevant pages. And... If you do it more care, like if you do it better, you can put on the side or inside. You can put in the side the links up to the client side, to the pages you want to promote for this long tail keywords, and that will add up to the overall style structure of the site that doesn't even have those pages yet. So I I'll be happy to answer your questions, emails or uh, or. Uh, uh, messages or whatever where you prefer to discuss this and how to set up it and uh, thank you for using uh, Brunquist thank you for using Sideways uh, thank you for your interest have a good day